class we have discussed about load forecasting and also stand alone power system and also i have done video on scada and a uh, switch mode power supply just to go through once i'll i'll give the link in description what is high landing high landing means isolation from external sources and running with own generators what do you mean by islanding islanding means isolation that means it is separating two parts okay it is separating the isolation from external sources and run and running with own generators and what are the conditions for islanding a grid is said to be distributed when when there is an under voltage or when there is an over voltage or when there is an under frequency or over frequency rapid fall or rise in a frequency or a power failure in the grid or a fault in the grid what are the conditions for islanding a grid is said to be disturbed that means somewhat problems okay when grid is said to be disturbed maybe under voltage or over voltage okay these are the problems these are the problems next what is the definition for islanding what is islanding in power system islanding is the intentional isolation of a part of a power system due to external widespread grid disturbance this isolated part of a grid is called island such a disturbance may lead to blackout okay if we do not isolate that part that will lead to a blackout so we go for the islandings while therefore islanding scheme provides a mean to continue to supply power to the essential service in a zone or area what are the objectives of uh, island isolate a part of a power system power system from the grid to make island continue to supply power in island that is uh, next avoid tripping of generators in the island next uh, quick to restoration of remaining system these are the objectives of island first is it will part of a power system from the grid to make island should we should make the part of a power system we should separate and next uh, the objective is continue to supply power okay and avoid tripping of generators and next quick restoration of remaining system next advantages of high handling before going to that topic we shall discuss with some more interesting okay there are various method to detect the grid disturbance to initiate high landing scheme that is a one major cause of dis grid disturbance is unbalance in generation and load and load okay one is one major cause of grid disturbance is unbalance in generation yeah unbalance in generation and load also mismatch between the two will mismatch between generation and load this will cause a change in frequency so that is uh, if assuming grid voltage to be 50 hertz uh, during normal condition but in grid disturbances it will reduce so somewhat the frequency variation and the frequency relay is employed to sense major grid disturbance and initiate load shedding we all we already discussed about what is load shedding okay just to go through once video i have will, i will give the link in description box okay grid dis disturbance that is one frequency relay is employed there to sense what to sense major grid disturbances and initiate load shedding by opening designated feeder prior to islanding to ensure generation which highland this is what occur in grid the low grid frequency in combination of power flow towards grid initiates islanding and hence simultaneously tripping of all predefined lines to make island 
this is the next uh, it is very important to control the frequency of generating units and maintain load generation balance in the island for successful survival after the islanding and also the, uh, one such method is to sense the grid frequency is grid frequency is directly related to load if the load on grid increases if for example if load on the grid increases then what happens the frequency will go down if in case of uh, decrease in load if uh, decrease in load the grid frequency will increase this is what the and uh, disturbance create in the grid okay next we shall discuss with the advantages of high landing why what is the advantage of high landing this is main important the main advantage of high landing is that power supply is not interrupted in the island even during the grid disturbance they will not interrupt the power supply okay this will this helps to supply startup power to various power plants to restore the system and also restoration of highland is quite easier when compared to restoration of old system from blackout state this island is synchronized to grid for integration this is the advantages of that islanding and we know that grid is a interconnected system of generators and transmission lines all the connected generators run in a synchronism if a major disturbance occurs then the transmission lines may drift which in turn may create a cascaded effect this cascade effect what it will do it may eventually lead to collapse of entire grid and hence it is a blackout system okay what happens once again i repeat a grid is an interconnected system of what it is a interconnected system of generators and also transmission lines all the connected generators connected generators run in a synchronism okay if major disturbance occur then the transmission lines may drip in drip which in which will create which may create a cascaded effect that cascaded effect may lead to collapse of entire grid and uh, it is a blackout okay in highlanding scheme in power system it is designed in such a way that in case of major grid disturbances as sensed by the protection element a portion of a system is isolated only some of the portion is isolated by tripping the predefined tie lines okay tie lines or transmission lines that is a high isolating the part of the system from the remaining grid the effect of grid disturbance is eliminated to affect the island this is what islanding scheme in a power system it is designed how it is designed in case of a any major grid disturbance if it has happened it is sensed okay and it is sensed by a protective element and the sum of portions is some of a portions um, will be isolated by tripping okay and the remaining will be continuity of power supply okay this is what isolating or ice is islanding okay this is the islanding in power system thank you for watching